everyone. Welcome back to another Tuesday Two Minute Tip. Today's tip is brought to you by Nicole Bingaman. Um, I was watching one of her YouTube channels and I saw her talk about this. So I asked her if I could share it as a Tuesday tip. Uh, so what she was talking about was when she's in the mood to craft but not really scrapbook, sometimes she will take some of her dies. She has some dies that are her favorite dies. You know, we all have kind of like our favorite materials or favorite tools. So she will take her dies and run them through her die cut machine multiple times using some scraps. For this video today, I'm going to use a couple of my favorite punches and just to make it quicker and easier for you to, to see. And she will just punch out uh, a bunch of, you'll have to forgive me, my heart punch is sticking a little bit here. But she will punch out a bunch of that shape or die cut a bunch of that shape. Like I said, either one would work, a die cut, punch, anything. You could cut it out with scissors if you just wanted the same shape. Circle punches, you know, anything like that would be good. So I'll just do a couple more here. Um, this is a good example. This is a great punch to use because you get a bunch of different dies and I will leave a link below. This is a really neat punch, uh, scrapbook punch. Same thing here, just take some scrap and this is all scrap white cardstock that I have. You can use colored, but I will talk about that in just a moment. So I'll just do that a couple times. So here I have a pile. And then, you know, I plan to do this just like sitting and watching TV. This is something super simple and it's really, you don't need to think about it at all. Um, so the next step is to take those ones. And I didn't ask Nicole how many layers she does, but it, I think it would be personal preference. Number one, how thick you want yours to be. Number two, I think it would depend on the paper that you're using. This is cardstock. I believe this is probably the white eight and a half by 11 recollections from Michaels. Um, so, you know, maybe I know all cardstocks are all different sizes. So if you have thicker cardstock, you might not want as many layers. If you have thinner cardstock, you might want more layers. You could use pattern paper to do this. The one thing I'm going to mention about the color uh, is to be aware of what color you are using if you don't want it to show through on the sides. That's the only thing to be aware of. And if you punch just like all hearts at one time, it might be a little fun. You can see I'm digging in to find mine, but I'm just doing this for video purposes and I don't really mind digging. Again, it's kind of mindless and I would do this watching TV with my husband. We like to watch, you know, get our little shows going. So I think I've added four layers to this and I like this size, but I'm going to add one more if I have one more. If not, I can easily punch one really quick. I think, is this the right size? Nope, that one's just a little smaller. I'm going to punch one really quick. Oh, wait. Nope. So I'm going to punch one. It even works, would work with something like this. <laughs> this small little scrap that most of the time I would have gotten rid of. I can just punch out that shape right there. Um, you know, sometimes you'd have to play with the lining up of it. I'm not sure if that's the right size, so I will do this. And it just takes, I like to use a little bit of wet glue. I feel like it's kind of the easier one to use because you don't really have to go all the way to the sides with wet glue because it will kind of squish out. And now that I punched that one out, I'm not going to be able to find it. <laughs> oh, come on, right? Let's see. I just punched it out. You guys are probably like, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, it's right there. Um, and then glue that on there. So I think that is the fifth layer. And just basically what this is doing is this is setting you up with some faux chipboard shapes for you to be able to use when you're working on a layout. Then you'll have these parts ready and you can just add the pattern paper on top unless you wanted to leave it white or stamp on it or something. That would be pretty cool. Uh, let me show you here. So this is one I'll try to show the two thicknesses there. You can kind of see the top one is thinner because it's just the one. And then here's with like five layers. So it gives it some thickness and it's ready to go. So just pull a bowl over or find a drawer you can keep them in or a little bucket, anything, and just have these ready to go. You know, you can keep these ready to go. There's all 
And then when you're working on the layout, if you want to make a Mickey head for your Disney layout that's kind of more chipboard, but say you're out of the chipboard, then you can pull over. I actually think I have this guy right here. Say I punched this out because I was going to use this on my collection. And since I already have this stack of the Mickey heads ready to go, I can punch out the pattern paper I'm using. Again, it doesn't have to be just pattern paper. You can do any color you want. Oh, my cat's in here eating my plastic bags again. And then there you go. I have like a faux chipboard Mickey head to use on the layout that I'm working with currently. You can ink the edges as well. Uh, the reason I told you to watch out for what color you use is because you might be able to see it along the side. But if you are inking the edges like me, I ink a lot of my edges, you can definitely, you know, just ink it and it wouldn't show as much. So, and this is nice too because foam tape is great, but this really, you know, this is, this is a good, thick it's thick you know and I even just glued it and I'm not sure if the glue is completely dry yet but it, it definitely gives some dimension so if you don't want to have to pay for the chipboard packages or you run out of that perfect chipboard piece that you wanted and so I wish you guys could see the different dimension of just these two just here's the one or maybe you even ran out of foam tape maybe you don't want to or don't have any foam tape to use you can kind of see, can you see the difference in the height of those? And I'm sorry, I know this is longer than two minutes, but it won't be too much longer. So anyways, I thought I would share that because I thought that's great. And I'm going to take a bunch of my scraps here. Oh, and I also wanted to point out scraps like this. The edges are colored, but I don't think since this side is white, I don't think it would really show up too much. This is some scraps that I'm going to be doing this with, and I might even put some color on some side. Yeah, so if you put them all together, there is a tiny bit of color there, but it's so subtle. And like I said, if you inked, so don't forget to check out your scraps that may have white on one side, or maybe you just want to use up all these blue ones or, you know, all these tan brown ones, you know, you could punch out a bunch and then leave the polka dot on top and have them pre-made with the color too. You don't have to just leave them white. It is nice to leave them white in case for when you are doing your layout but also even if I put this on here and I decided that I don't want to use this pattern with this Mickey head I could add another shape oh and look at the, how cute that is that was totally unplanned but you could even layer a smaller size in top of the one I wonder if you can see I'm going to glue it on there because it's not going to hurt it's just scraps but that would be cute to even layer a couple different ones so if you have a stamp like this Mickey one that has all the same shape but different sizes, well, that was kind of a lucky find. <laughs> so see how that is really kind of cute? And then you could layer even maybe black or something solid on that, depending on the colors of your page or your pattern papers you're working with. So even that would be fun as well. But have fun. Punch out a bunch of white cardstock. Sit there while you're watching TV or watching YouTube videos or just in your room and you don't want to make a page, you know, glue some and have some pre-made faux chipboard shapes ready for you to use. All right, please let me know below if you have any more comments, if you have any questions about this, if I explained this well enough, I sure hope I did. Um, but any punches would work, you know, just be careful the tinier the size. Circles would be a really good one too because you can always use circles. Any, you know, circles, just whatever, squares as well, butterflies. Um, I'm trying to look at my punches now. So you could even, if you really wanted to go crazy, maybe try it with a couple border strips. <laughs> but anyways, all right, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you like this two minute tip video and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys.